champion, a title Gene Oaken relishes. I was a national level power lifter and a bodybuilder. But now, the man dubbed Baby Arnold holds a title he never wanted. Yeah, that was what I loved doing. And unfortunately, as, as luck would have it, I now famous for big kidneys and, and not for bodybuilding. Doctors believe Gene has the largest kidneys in the world. An average kidney is the size of your fist. Genes are bigger than a football. Well, I have what's called polycystic kidney disease. This is a disease that is a hereditary disease. He's actually a thin guy, but he had these enormous things in his, inside his abdomen. That's Gene before his kidneys grew. The 50-pound dumbbells he once used for training are the same weight as his kidneys. Yeah, pretty, pretty heavy. For years, Gene tried to rewrite his story. Oh, Gene, come on. So he launched an online campaign called Gene's Big Dumb Kidneys, searching for an organ donor. He calls one big and the other dumb. Do we really need to go to work today? I relate this to somebody that's pregnant um, and we created this website about big and dumb, big dumb kidneys, but really it's like I've got two very large kidneys and, and I kind of look at them like babies, the way how big they are. Because of the disease, which causes cysts to grow in his kidneys, Gene says he never married or had children. That's a real traumatic thing as a child growing up, knowing that you know, you're gonna need a dialysis or a kidney you know, transplant. I inherited it from my father who had the disease. He was on dialysis and he, he passed. But Gene has a chance his father didn't. Just a good friend. All thanks to Bill McNeese, a friend for 20 years. Somebody that does things um, without being asked because you care about somebody. I'm grateful for the blessings of my donor, Bill, my hero. Most friends loan money and donate their time but an organ? It became clear to me that it was part of God's plan to do this, so let's get her done. Gene knew it would end here, but he didn't know if the tears would be relief or grief. Mayo Clinic's Dr. Prieto led the surgery. Initially, he thought it would take two hours. It took 12. His kidneys were enormous, you know, probably the biggest ones I have ever seen. Gene can now see a sight he hasn't seen in years. My stomach was completely flat. I could see my feet, and I was just, I was just blown away that I wasn't so round. Friends for 20 years, now family for life. I'm really grateful for, for you saving my life. Thanks to Bill, Gene is embracing a new title, brother. Because I always wanted a brother, you know, so he's always been my brother. I love you, buddy. Love you too, bro. Thanks. That's why we did this. A title Gene wears with pride. And if you're trying to go for a world record, in the U.S., about 600,000 men and women suffer from that same disease. Julie, I want to tell you tonight, Gene is back home in Southern California. He flew home earlier today. Bill, already back to work. Wow, it's an amazing story. Thank you so much, Adrian.